So welcome to this afternoon's restorative yoga time. This is a guided relaxation. We're going to focus today on the, the subtle layers of the koshas, which is a model that comes from yoga. And I will talk about it during our meditation. So for now, what you've done is you've either decided to lie down, maybe you're lying in bed, as I said, or you drape yourself over the back of the couch like a cat. Or you can roll up that yoga blanket we were talking about and you roll it so it's a long, narrow roll. You sit in front of it so that when you lie backwards, you are supporting your lumbar spine. And then your mid back spine. And then your upper back spine. And then hopefully also your head has support. Right? So if your blanket's a little bit short in terms of supporting your head, please add something to go underneath your head. And then you're welcome to close your eyes and let your attention start to retreat from the outside world to the inner world. And as I said, this posture with the rolled blanket is kind of ideal if you feel like you've been sort of carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders or you feel so deeply in your heart. And perhaps that vacillates between your capacity to feel deeply and then your need to feel like you're retreating from or kind of um, taking refuge from that feeling deeply. And now you're welcome to close your eyes. And we're going to go from the outer layer of the koshas. That's a Sanskrit word that means layers or sheaths. We're going to go from the outer to the inner and to go deeply in and then to explore what it means to resurface back into the world. So beginning with the skin of your body, just invite there to be a gentle and overall relaxation. Sometimes it does help to sense that softening of the skin to begin at your forehead. Allow the forehead to become smooth. I like to say free from worries hurries and flurries, it means free from the mental worries, free from the sense of constantly being in a hurry, and free from the flurries of the mind. Allow the softening of your forehead to flow outwards towards your temples, and imagine the entire scalp underneath your hair, the entire scalp, all the muscles of your face, the skin of your face, just gently softening. And let that softening flow downward so the skin of the throat and the neck also begin to relax. Om Shanti 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 Allow the skin over the shoulders and your heart to gently soften. And let that softening flow downwards through both arms, over your elbows, forearms, fingers, and thumbs. And since you're on a rolled blanket for many of you, as I saw you setting up, you can imagine as the skin of the upper body and the heart soften, there is this downward flow of ease that goes towards your fingers and thumbs. And then allow the inner body to start sensing that you're softening the skin of the body, starting again at your forehead, down over your face, your neck, your throat, and allow that to travel down through both arms into your hands, fingers, and thumbs, and then down through the torso to soften the skin over the solar plexus, and over the abdomen, and even around the small of your back where the blanket roll is making contact. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti
And allow the softening of the skin of the body to now go down over your hips and your pelvis. And then over your legs, kneecaps, down through your shins, to your feet, including all 10 toes. So this first layer of softening is really the outermost layer of the skin, this sort of um, boundary, quote unquote, boundary between us and the rest of the world. We imagine this to be where we end and the world begins, which is kind of an illusion. But allow the skin of your body to be softening gently right now. The skin is your largest immune organ. And so you're just giving this invitation at the level of the skin to also respect the immunity of the skin. And then to soften so we don't have a sense of that division between us and the cosmos around us. We allow ourselves to become a little more porous. Om Shanti 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 And then allow for the muscles beneath the skin to begin melting as well. So the muscles deeper than skin, some of these muscles are very um, sort of more minor, like the muscles in your fingers. They're very small, but they play a large role in your life. Some of the muscles are larger, they seem more major. Muscles at the thighs, for example, or the upper back and shoulders. But give this overall invitation for the muscles of your body to begin deeply relaxing. You may pay particular attention to some of the muscles associated with the stress response. So the muscles of your jaw, your tongue, the upper back where it meets the neck, the diaphragm, the deep muscle called the psoas, which is deeply in the low belly up to the mid belly, along the sides of your spine. Also the muscles of your thumbs. I welcome those muscles to come to ease for the next several minutes. Om Shanti 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 Now the muscles receive their innervation, hydration, circulation from systems deeper than the physical body. We call this the prana body, the pranamaya kosha. So now I'd like you to imagine all the nerve pathways in your body, like open country roads without any traffic on them. So the open curvaceousness of the country road is yours on a sunny day. You're just ambling along, kind of wandering aimlessly. And specifically do imagine that these nerve pathways, which beginning at the spinal column, go out to the periphery of the body. Imagine them starting with the nerves of your head. The nerves of your neck and throat. Imagine the nerve pathways down the arms. So dividing from the central column of the spine, down through your right arm, down your left arm like two villages you're traveling to in a beautiful scenic place on a sunny day with no traffic on the roads. Allow the nerves of the arms to feel this way, to go all the way to the fingers and thumbs. Invite this also to be the case and the nerves of the torso, so the innervation of your spine Also your breathing. Imagine these nerve pathways touching all the vital responsibilities you have in your body and then going down through your leg bones, down through your legs to your feet, ankles and toes. 
as if again these country roads, they were yours for the freedom of a beautiful drive in the country on a sunny day. Imagine your nerve pathways being this relaxed and beautiful. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya and then allow your awareness to come in to the circulatory pathways and let's imagine circulation like many beautiful rivers in your body clear rivers tranquil rivers that become streams and little rivulets so you go from the primary pathway of circulation out to all the distal and peripheral places in the body. Imagine these circulatory pathways like beautiful tranquil rivers, free from debris, clear, bubbling seamlessly along. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Vasudevaya And then imagine also in the prana body, the energy body, the meridians, the marma points, these subtle body pathways that we may, we may not really even know where they are. But you can sense when your prana is well, when you feel vital and when you don't feel so vital. Just imagine the prana of your body, perhaps like when you gaze out over a beautiful field and the sun is touching the tall grasses and there's a sense of freshness and vibrancy. Imagine this in the entirety of your inner body. This prana infuses not only your muscles and your bones, but the organs of your body as well. Imagine the organs, how they would respond to see a beautiful field of tall grasses with the sun highlighting the vibrancy of those grasses. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Vasudevaya Now deeper than the pranamaya kosha is what we call the manamaya kosha. This is the more subtle experience of the body going to the senses and also to the mind, the level of the mind. We're giving graciousness to your senses right now. Imagine the eyes, the ears, the nose, the tongue. They've been interpreting the world for you all day, every day. And right now we allow the senses to go inward. So imagine your senses really taking refuge in the beauty of the inner body and that your senses become still. Like at the surface of the water when it becomes glassy and smooth and still, free from ripples and very reflective. Imagine this for your eyes, your nose, your tongue, your ears. Om Shanti.
शांति 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 ओम शांति 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 ओम शांति 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 there be peace peace infinite peace and then going deeper than the mind deeper than the habit mind rest into what we call in yoga the vijnana vijnana maya kosha the inner wisdom your intuition body the inner wisdom in you that is connected to consciousness and love So you have to imagine this beneath the mental habits, beneath the activities of daily life. You might even imagine a great being that you have been in their presence or you've seen their photograph and you can feel that wisdom emanating from them. The ineffable joyfulness of His Holiness the Dalai Lama the deeply quiet presence of Thich Nhat Hanh. Maybe one of the sages or saints of India like Ramana Maharshi, or a teacher that you have in your own life, or a person you know is consistently benevolent and graceful and kind. And when you sense in them that deep quiet, let it also mirror the potential you have for that. Om Shanti 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 Om Shanti 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 Om Shanti 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 Now, when you tap into that wisdom body deeper than your own thoughts and which we have seen reflected in great beings on the planet i'm going to ask you now to imagine that this wisdom body is not owned by you and is not uniquely yours but to imagine it actually as some something indwelling the deepest potential in humankind and as you rest imagine this vijnanamaya kosha this wisdom place Kind of turning on like we might turn on software on the computer imagine it turning on in humanity right now imagine it coming to light in human kindness in human graciousness imagine this rippling out in all beings the farthest reaching place on the globe from where we are right now people who have the most privilege, the people who have the least privilege, those who are known to you, those who are not known to you. Imagine this wisdom. It is already installed in everyone, in all near and far, past, present, and future. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Vasudevaya Now deeper even than this wisdom is the indwelling magnetic pull to come back home to love. In yoga, we call this the Anandamaya Kosha, to come back home to love. And I'm going to ask you to imagine you are being magnetically called back home to this love, and that this home is shared by humankind. And each of us is born from this love. We actually have the capacity to be in relationship with this love this innate sense of belonging and fellowship. 
we don't always see this capacity being expressed, but sense your magnetic pull back home to that. It's larger than you, it preceded you, it will proceed you. But we have the chance to be ambassadors of this love. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Guru Pyo Nama Hari Om I would like you to particularly imagine this love magnetically calling people home to those people who are perhaps still in a bit of naivety, a little bit of denial. Or perhaps this love can magnetically call to them their best self to come forward. And also imagine this love is welcoming back home those who are suffering from and will find this virus to be fatal, that they return home to this love that is holding us all. Om Shanti 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 body to soak in this practice a few moments more welcoming the reset that comes to you and welcoming this very deeply in now establish a body memory of this staying with you being with you. A body memory that you could access whenever you need it. And then please lightly wiggle your fingers and your toes. Gently bend your knees if you've been reclining on your blanket roll. You're going to be rolling to your side. We'll go a tiny bit downhill from your blanket roll. And we will find our way back up to sitting. As you rise up to sit, come to face the camera or not, it's up to you. I can see your names. I can sense your presence. You're welcome to stay inward if that's what you're needing right now. And let's bring the hands together at the heart. So may we and all beings everywhere be able to be magnetically called back home to this love. May we remember our innate wisdom larger than our own thoughts, a deep wisdom that implores us to care for everyone and everything, and also the ecology on which every one of us is dependent. And may those who don't have access to these resources or this practice, and who may be struggling very much right now. May they suffer a bit less. May they not be exposed to further unnecessary harm or pain or isolation. May some kindness come their way. May all beings be remembered. Thank you very much, everyone. Namaste.